Okay, so remember our problem from the introductory video, the diving board problem. A diving board is 4 meters long and the fulcrum is 1.25 meters from the bolted end. The board is bolted at left to the cement with bolts that can withstand 4,200 newtons of force. And we're going to be solving A, ignoring the weight and bending of the board, how heavy can Penelope be before the bolts give? Now, the first thing after deciding that the problem is a torque problem is to locate the center of rotation. Remember we said that the center of rotation, because this is a seesaw problem, is at the fulcrum. And now looking at this, we need to know the forces. We have two forces. We have the force on the bolts and the force of the weight of Penelope, our person and we look at the direction of the forces with respect to the center of rotation. So bolts. Which direction are the bolts acting? They're holding on to their, the, the board, so they're acting in this direction. With respect to the center of rotation, that's this way. So that's counterclockwise. And how much is the force of the bolts? It's given to us. 4,200 newtons and we also need to know the distance from the bolts to the center. So what is this distance here? That's also given to us 1.25 meters so 1.25 meters so 1.25 meters. Done with the first force. Second force is Penelope, our person Penelope weighs down this direction, but now with, with respect to, to the center of rotation, this is clockwise. So it's clockwise. What is the force that Penelope exerts? We don't know. That's what we're looking for. What is the distance? Well, this distance here from Penelope to the center, we know that the total distance is 4 meters, so 4 meters minus this distance here, 1.25. Get a calculator however you want. Calculating, we get 2.75 meters. Those are the forces we have. We have the forces and the distance. We're missing one thing. We have our net torque of zero. We should be able to do this. So T net, the, to the net torque, the net torque is positive FB times DB minus, because it's clockwise, FP times DP. And because we're in equilibrium, this is going to be zero. Substitute and calculate. Here we have newtons times meters, newtons times meters, so we're good. So what do we have? Uh, 4,200 times 1.25 minus FP is what we're looking for and DP is 2.75 and that is equal to zero. So we're going to put this on one side and this on the other side but at the same time write it backwards so FP times 2.75 equals 4,200 times 1.25 so FP equals 4,200 times 1.25 divided by 2.75. So let's calculate that. So 4,200 times 1.25 divided by 2.75. So that's 1,909.1 Newton. So 1,909 one newton. If you want to know, that's her mass is approximately that divided by 10, so 191 kilograms. But this is the answer to our problem. On to part B.